Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to waves and oscillation, simple harmonic motion. So we're discussing about the various uh, common examples of simple harmonic motion. So far we have discussed about the spring motion connected with a mass series and parallel and also about simple pendulum. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, rise and fall of a liquid filled in a, a U-shaped tube, okay, and how this rise and fall of liquid level in this uh, U-tube, it is an example of simple harmonic motion, okay. So before that, uh, I would like you to please watch all the previous videos related to simple harmonic motion so that you understand this in a better way. So simple harmonic motion basically is an oscillatory movement, a to and fro movement of an object about an equilibrium or mean position. Okay, a to and fro movement between two extreme points about a middle or reference or equilibrium or mean position. So here the uh, setup or uh, the object arrangement which is of interest or focus is the u-shaped tube okay a u-shaped tube which is filled with a certain liquid and it is first in the equilibrium position or the initial position the level of liquid in both the limbs the left and right limb it is fixed they're at the same level from the datum position from the reference point let's say we call that height h okay now suppose uh, by some means we push the liquid in the right limb to a certain length let's call it y and as a result of that, there will be an increase in the liquid level by the same margin in the left limb. So here we pushed it down to D, point D in the right limb. And as a result, there is a corresponding increase in the liquid level up to E in the left limb. The fall of liquid in right limb, the length of, of the fall of liquid in the right limb is equal to the rise in the left limb why so here the total rise of liquid in the left limb here is 2y okay here the total rise extra level of liquid here is 2y this Y. So it is this much portion of the liquid which contributes to simple harmonic motion. Okay, now we know that simple harmonic motion is caused because of a restoring force. Okay, a restoring force which is of the nature fr is equal to minus kx it means that the restoring force should be proportional to the instantaneous displacement okay and in the negative direction in the opposite direction so here let's say the mass per unit length of this liquid it is m okay the mass per unit length it is m so here the extra level 2y portion of the liquid d dash e this much portion of the liquid in the left limb it exerts a downward force on this left hand limb okay a downward force now this restoring force is given by fr is equal to minus m into 
2 y into g m into 2 y because the mass per unit length of the liquid is m so m into 2 y because the total extra level in this left limb from this point the reference point because it is pushed down up to d okay this it is pushed down up to this point so the extra level here is 2y from this position it is 2y so that's why this extra portion of the liquid in the left limb that it uh, exerts the restoring force so this restoring force it again tries to bring the levels in both the limbs to this initial position same up to this point okay so that restoring force is given by minus m into 2y into g where m into 2y is the total mass of the liquid in this extra portion 2y portion m into 2y because this is mass per unit length mass per unit length okay the total mass of the liquid in this u tube we can say is m into 2h why because see in the initial position both the liquid levels they are the same in the two limbs here it is up to h here is also up to h total liquid is 2h that's why it is m into 2h the total mass of the liquid okay this is the total mass of the liquid this is m into 2h the restoring force is m into 2y into g where this is the mass contained in this extra portion d dash e this much portion the amount of liquid which is there restoring force acts because of that that is given by this now we have to find out the acceleration of the liquid column okay the acceleration of the liquid column is simply restoring force divided by total mass of the liquid total mass of the liquid so the restoring force we have minus m into 2y into g total mass is m into 2h okay so here if we want to uh, figure out the meaning of this restoring force minus m into 2y into g it is because the displacement 2y is upwards okay the displacement here from the initial reference position it is upwards but the restoring force is acting downwards that's why it is negative because of acceleration due to gravity so this is the restoring force this is the total mass acceleration of the liquid column is restoring force divided by total mass which is equal to minus m into 2y g by m into 2h so here 2 2 will get cancelled m m will get cancelled so it will simply be minus g by h into y so here g by h it is a constant okay g by h this is a constant so here we can say that the acceleration of the liquid column is equal to minus k y where k is g by h or the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement of the liquid okay the displacement of the liquid y the extra displacement but it is in the opposite direction because of this negative sign so this means that this oscillatory movement is an example of shm so how the shm motion will look like this is the initial equilibrium position then liquid in the right limb is pushed by a margin y so there is a corresponding increase in the left hand limb restoring force act, acts it brings it back to b then to d dash and then there is another rise in the right hand limb by 
factor y as shown in this diagram so it continues first this then this then this again it repeats first this is the equilibrium position then again this and then there is this shm movement it goes on and on and on so it continues because of this restoring force acting downwards and the acceleration is given by this so here the acceleration of the liquid column is given this way so now in order to find out the time period of this simple harmonic motion of the liquid column in the u-tube we know that the basic equation for time period of shm is given by 2 pi displacement root over of displacement by acceleration okay so here we have to find out the displacement by acceleration that ratio so here displacement is y acceleration is a liquid so here y by a that is equal to minus 1 by k this where k is g by h so it is minus h by g this minus h by g don't get confused this is y by a liquid minus h by g so if we ignore the negative sign it is simply y by a liquid which is displacement by acceleration that is equal to h by g okay h by g magnitude taking only magnitude and ignoring the negative sign so the time period of this liquid column liquid column movement in youtube let's call it lc ut liquid column in youtube then that will be 2 pi displacement into acceleration which is equal to h by g 2 pi h by g where h is the initial height in the liquid column which is same in both the left and the right limb which is the equilibrium position okay the equilibrium position this and then we have is the acceleration due to gravity that that is the displacement and acceleration that ratio so the frequency is simply frequency is the reciprocal of the time period okay and that will be 1 by 2 pi root over of g pi h so here if you notice the only thing which affects the time period of the oscillation is the initial height of liquid in both the left and the right limb okay so this is the equilibrium position then in the right limb we push it downwards then we get this movement okay there is a rise in the liquid column in the left limb by the same margin it falls on the right limb then again we have this movement where the liquid falls by the same margin in the left limb and rises by the same margin in the right limb again back to this 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 again this goes on and on this this is the simple harmonic motion about this equilibrium position where the liquid level in both the limbs is the same up to b in left limb c in right limb e and f are the extreme points in both the left and the right limbs okay this okay so here we have discussed about the uh, simple harmonic motion example of rise and fall of liquid in a u-tube okay u-shaped tube so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day. Thank you very much.